Hello everyone. Welcome to VA Tech Talks. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the below use case. Okay, what is the use case here? Create producer and consumer application for cricket score. Okay. So what are the steps we need to follow? It's like we need to create a up sub communication. It's like publisher and subscriber. It's like one too many. So here, if you are watching for the first time in this video, so what you can do, you can go to our YouTube channel. You can type VA Tech Talks. So here I have created a playlist for Microsoft, JMS Active MQ, and Kafka. You can go through these videos for better understanding. So what is publisher and consumer? What is producer and consumer? Okay. What is message queues? What is topic? What is MOM? What is destination? These things and all I have already explained in detail. And I have created the document also for this. So the document is available in my GitHub. Okay. So here I have explained everything in detail. So here, if you observe, there is a cricket match is ongoing. Okay. There is a cricket match. It's running now. So here we do have a server. So what this guy will do, this guy will keep on, will send the messages. Okay. Publisher is going to publish the messages here. There is one publisher or one producer. You can call it anything. Okay. Publisher or producer. So it will send the message into topic. We need to create a topic for one to many communication. If it is one to one communication, we need to create a queue. In this topic, we do have number of subscribers, subscriber one and subscriber two, subscriber three, something like this. So overall subscribers here, okay? It's like we do have multiple websites, okay? It's like ESPN, uh, Crickbirds, okay, Crick Info. So these things are all receivers or subscribers. So here we need to create flow for one publisher and three consumers, okay? Three consumers for practicing purpose, we are going to do this. Okay. Let me clear the drawing. See, what are the prerequisites? The prerequisites are we need to install Java and ActiveMQ setup has to be done. Okay. How to set up ActiveMQ and everything? Okay. You can able to find it in this document. This document. Or you can go through our YouTube channel and you can follow those videos. This is the first step. You can go to ActiveMQ. Okay, I'll show you here one more time. Active MQ download. Click on very first link. Click on components. Click on Active MQ classic. Click on download here. So, what is the compatibility version? Okay, mine it is 11 plus. Okay, so you can click on this Windows and click on this bin folder. Okay. Just click on this link, okay? Bin.zip, ActiveMQ, Apache ActiveMQ 5.18.3 Binzip. So as soon as if you download, okay, what you can do, you can keep it into C drive or D drive and you can extract this one. You can give right click and extract. So once it get extracted, okay, here you can able to find the username and password. So it's a default, it's always admin and admin, okay? It's so admin and admin. And in order to run, okay? In order to run Apache MQ, okay? Our active MQ server, go to bin, Windows 64. Just click on this active MQ dot bat. This is a batch file, okay? This is a batch file. Automatically, it will up the server. It will up the server. So here you can able to identify 8161. So this is our console, okay? 
the web path console so in order to create any queues and topics you can go to this url and click on this manage active mq browser so here we do have three queues okay so this is what we have practiced in the previous sessions now in our use case pops up communication okay publisher to subscriber one to many so in this case we need to create we need to create let me write the steps here simply i'll copy create a queue instead of create a topic okay create a topic in active mq website create one mule app as a producer our publisher okay as a publisher create three new app or flows okay flows as for as a subscribers so if it is a sub means okay one to many communication okay it's a one to many communication so here we do have one publisher multiple consumers okay now the first step is we need to create a topic how to create a topic first you need to up the first you need to up the active mq server then go to active mq portal click on this topics okay so the topic name okay i'm going to keep it as va tech click right okay click score click score topic i'm going to create a topic name as click score topic okay this is our topic name let me copy paste this is very important then there is one more point okay so if you observe we do have tcp protocol okay what is the port number 61616 let me copy this broker url also okay we can find it as broker url next so the topic creation is done now it's very simple close all the projects go to file click on new click on mule project we are tech click info use case so the project is created now so in order to publish the messages okay i am going to use http listener here the port number is 8081 the path is jms click in for send score okay click in for send score our update score this is our path resource path let me copy this one also so now in order to publish the messages what we need to do go to add module click on this jms and drag this jms into mail pilot so here we do have publisher click on this publish okay so here you need to configure click on this plus button so it is asking okay there is something it is in a red color click on this configure here add maven dependency click on finish now come little bit down so what is the username and password for login into 
the active mq portal that you need to provide admin and admin suppose you want to change the username and password you can go to you can go to configurations okay you can go to configurations and user dot properties you can modify now factory configuration okay edit inline okay this is very important here we have broker url okay so what you can do just you can remove this one just you can remove and you can provide the 61616 or else so this is our computer name here so instead of this one what you can do you can give 127.0.0.1 so that is called local host so either you can give your computer name or you can provide this port numbers okay it's like http address you can give or else what you can do you can type local host also instead of this one okay so i'm going to provide 127.0.0.1 okay correct 127.0.0.1 or else you can provide the local host just click on test connection whether the connection is successful or not see now test connection is successful click on ok ok now the very important step so what is your topic name ok this is our topic name we take click score the destination type is you need to select as topic this is very important now go to core or favorites and add the logger if you want or else directly i am going to add transform messages messages okay messages publish is done successfully now if you run this one okay it will keep on publish the messages okay let me try to run let me try to run this so meanwhile i'll prepare the endpoint for this go to this collection click on new request jms click score okay click info i'll keep it make info There is this new request. AMS click info. Just give enter. Okay. Localhost 8081. JMS. You need to copy your corresponding resource path. So this is our resource path. Click on this body. So either you want to send the message in a JSON format or text format. Okay. Suppose I want to send the message into a JSON format. Okay. JSON format. So here, batting. And just I will keep it as bat. India. players okay 
simply i'll keep it as kohli and rohit so you can write number of messages that will be fine now score i want to write it here score is Fifty for one, suppose. Okay. Now just check. Okay, the application is deployed successfully. So far, we have created only publisher. Just try to understand. Click on send. See message. Publish is done successfully. So how we can verify? You can go to ActiveMQ portal. So here we do have topic, right? Okay, see number of pending messages. Okay. Click score. Okay. Messages are in queue. Okay, it is one. So still we didn't receive this message. We are not going to read that message because we don't have any consumers. Our subscribers. We had a quick score topic. Okay. Okay. Again, I'm going to send. Again, I'm going to send two more messages. Okay. Just two more messages. So you can write comments also, guys. Okay, if you want, you can write the comments also. Okay, comments. So anyway, this is a demo application. Comments. Now, now Rohit is. Now Rohit hits a six. Okay, hit a six. If you click on this topic, now we can see there are two messages. So you can send this a message for multiple times also. Okay, that's not a problem. Kohli and Rohit, 55, 56. Okay, so what we will do, the producer or publisher, it's keep on, this guy is going to keep on update the status okay update the status 56 or 59 whatever it is okay the message publish is done successfully so now we can go to topics and verify see there are eight messages it's in pending okay there are no consumers or subscribers okay let me create the subscribers for this okay let me create at least Three subscribers. Okay, let me stop this application. Create new mill configuration file. Click in four. Subscribers. Subscribers app. Now, whenever there is a new message, okay, a new message, just to configure here, just take the same configuration. The destination should be the same topic. This is very important. Okay, the topic, it's not a queue, it's a topic. So durable, okay, shared, no local, okay, that's fine. As of now, let me add the logger. Uh, if you want, you can write it into different files. Just I'll keep the logger. So this is like 
click info okay click info score there is one subscriber okay i'm going to write one more subscriber here a new message you can configure this the destination is VAT click score topic topic consumer Just add the logger here. So instead of click info, I'll keep it as click bus. Okay, click bus. See now I have created two consumers or two subscribers. I will create one more. I'll add one more subscriber here. Just configure the same values. The topic name should be same. Just save it. ESPN. I'll give it as ESPN score. So you can create number of subscribers. You can create one to many, right? Okay, it's like one to many. Now, let me run this project. Okay, now we do have three subscribers. Let me make it as subscribers. This is for click info. Let me change it to ESPN. Next one is click buds. Okay. Now, let's try to send the message. The message send is done successfully. You can go to topics. Message DQ is not happening. Okay, let me check. Or uh, what I will do, I'll try to stop and I will run one more time. So this is not running. Okay. Topic is a consumer. Okay. So what type of consumer it is? We do have subscribers. IQ durable. Okay. Temporary topic.
let me subscribe this message a topic name just give enter so here you can see number of consumers are four okay see for each flow there are number of consumers are four number of consumers are four so that is the reason it is failing okay so let's make it to everything as one instead of four you can make it as one i have created okay so even i have created and kept it as one here okay so earlier it was four so this one also one and here also one so now we have created three flows just observe here there are three subscribers one is for click info and another one is for espn and click bus okay now we do have only one publisher one publisher and three subscribers now this guy is going to push the message into mom topic and from topic his three subscribers automatically it will pull the messages okay so this is an architecture how it is going to work okay the producer is going to send the message into topic from topic there are multiple consumers will read the same message okay at the same time so that's what we are going to practice now okay let me open the console and clear the logs okay fine just try to observe just try to observe here So now I'll keep it as fifty. Fifty for one. Now Rohit it as six. Click on send. See as soon as if you send, if you observe, see there are three messages. There are three loggers. So how come these three loggers came? See one is for quick info score. One is for ESPN. One is for quick bus. Again. I'll go here. Now this time, Kohli hit a four. Okay. Let me make it as fifty-four for one. Just minimize this. Let me minimize. Okay. Just observe now. See as soon as. If you click on the send, okay, the messages it will go and it will sit into here this topic. It will sit into this topic, okay. See now there are twelve messages enqueued, okay. Now there are nine. It is dequeued. Okay, earlier there were I think there are five messages. We are unable to read those. Now we are able to successfully read the messages. See, Kohli. So one is for ESPN and another one is for. Again, there is one more four. See, automatically the score is changing. Fifty-eight for one. Now let's make it to suppose ninety. Ninety for one. See, automatically the score is. Displaying here in the these three channels, so this is how it will work in a real time also. Okay. Yes, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching this. Happy learning.